Dilo 404 boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner and Trey X and the whole block fam. Hey, if you haven't gone over, go over and subscribe to Marlowe's Corner and Marlowe's Corner 2. Marlowe's Corner 2 channel is the uh, new channel that they're going to be on, going live on um, as well. And uh, we're trying to get that channel on up to a thousand subs. And um, Marlo also has to, um, is going to start dropping content on that channel as well. So, um, please go over there and subscribe so we can get those boys back up and running. Right now, the, reg the regular channel is under, um, under 90 day suspension behind a false um, claim by the zone of a copyright infringement. But anyway, so what I want to talk about real quick is um, Jorge Linares, the same Jorge Linares who got um, who dropped Loma, then got stopped to the body by Loma, and uh, got stopped. I want to say the next fight or fight after uh, two fights from that. Um, Linares is one of those guys. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Linares has been stopped at every fight that he's had. But anyway, um, every, not every fight that he's had, but every fight that he's lost, he was he's been stopped in. Um, Linares is a, a great talent. Um, he's a superb boxer, but he sometimes get caught in firefights and uh, get stopped. But he's also been over. I've also seen him just get completely overwhelmed by a guy. I think it was uh, Antonio DeMarco who just overwhelmed him and stopped him, and in, like inside of like one round or something. But anyway, to get to my point, um, Linares is calling out Ryan Garcia. Uh, basically saying, you know, uh, Garcia, to me, it almost looks like he's seeing Garcia getting all this fame, getting all this um, publicity, and uh, he remembers dominating or getting the better of Garcia in sparring, and he reminded him of that and basically said, you know, um, you know, we, we can have, if you, you think this or think that, whatever the case may be, we can have, we can have a fight. And um, it won't go like sparring. In other, wise, other words, he's not going to take it soft on him. Um, he's going to go all out and uh, take care of him in the ring. Um, this kind of looks like a situation where a guy in Linares knows that he's better than Ryan Garcia. And he sees Ryan Garcia being moved along slowly but getting all this praise and credit for being um, a phenom. Um, and, and I think his, in his heart, he wants to go ahead and derail all that before Garcia becomes the next Canelo or Lomachenko, if you will. And, um, you know, he wants to go ahead and, and, and put that to bed, but we all know that's not how it works in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these promoters, um, they know what these guys are capable of. They know what these guys are ready for. They will talk them up to no end, but they're not going to put them in a situation where they can get exposed or beaten by some uh, boxer who really doesn't have any any kind of steam behind them as far as, like, there's no, you know, momentum behind Jorge Linares. Linares uh, goes out and beats Ryan Garcia. Um, you've ruined er everything you built for Ryan Garcia up to that point, and you still won't be able to do anything with Linares. You know, Linares is not going to become pound for pound, you know, top level fighter. But you have the potential to do that with Garcia if you bring him up slowly. Um, it, it's kind of like, you know, Bob Arum made that mistake with Lomachenko. He tried to feed a guy in Salido who had, you know, was a former champion, guy who had some good wins under his belt, but a guy that had like, you know, double digit losses. But it would have been a credible win for Lomachenko to uh, beat him. And I think that was for a title shot. And, um, you know, it would have been a credible win because of, you know, other wins. Lenari, I mean, excuse me, um, Salido already had under his belt. And that, that plan backfired for top rank. So, essentially, what Linares is saying is uh, put Ryan Garcia in a Lomachenko versus Salido fight with me. Type fight with me. And let's see how it plays out. Um, Golden Boy Promotions knows what Jorge Linares is capable of. Do they think that Ryan Garcia has the power and potential to stop him? I'm sure they do. But at the same time, it, they know the risk associated with putting Ryan Garcia in at this stage of his career with a guy that's as seasoned and as skilled as Jorge Linares. 
you know, will the fight be made? It's possible, but um, I, I can't say. You know, um, me personally, I hope that um, Golden Boy is crazy enough to make this fight. And, um, you know, being that I'm just not a big fan of Golden Boy, I'd love to see um, Lenares go in and ruin Ryan Garcia. Um, but at the same time, maybe that's just me being mean. I shouldn't wish the downfall of this young fighter's career. But um, it's hard for me to support these fighters that are with Golden Boy. Um, me personally, I'd rather see the guy go somewhere else, even do his own thing or whatever, just get away from Oscar. Hard for me to support anything associated with Golden Boy Promotions. Um, but I'm going to end the video on that and just say that I don't think this is a fight that we're going to see. And I didn't tell Jorge Linares shows that he is a completely shot fighter and doesn't have a chance in hell of beating Ryan Garcia. But that's all I got to say on it. Just D-Lo 404 Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Uh, and once again, go sell to Marlowe's Corner 2. I'm out. Peace.